welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, thanks so much for stopping by. Today we are going to design that luggage tag that you saw on my thumbnail. I'm going on a cruise in a couple days, so I like to have my own little luggage tag and my own shirt to match it. So, but I already got the um images and the SVGs already on my on my Cricut design space. I went on ahead and uploaded them. If you want to know more about how to upload SVGs and images to your design space, just look at my other videos. I can link them below. But this is already done because I don't want this to be a long video. I have to start packing for my trip. All right, so as you see, it's, it's the same image, but I just made it smaller. I measured the um image for my luggage tag. And this, it, this tag is sublimation, coded, and it's like so it's two and a half by three and a half. So what I did, I just basically measured and I came up with, I'm going to do 2.1 by 2.9 i'm gonna go up a little bit just so it'll make sure it won't be too look too big it looks really small but it's gonna be okay with the look this tag is small I'll just put what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this on both sides of the luggage tag i'm gonna duplicate it okay and then this is gonna be my shirt what i did was i didn't um flatten this together because i want this image to be bigger a big enough image because if I flat it together, it all has to be 6.75 by 9 with a cricket, but you can do it separately and I, it'll be bigger if I do it separately. So, right now, this image right here is 4.31, this image right here is 3.6, so which will come out to seven something. And I can't print that big on cricket, so I'm gonna split it and then I have to tape it together on the shirt, tape it close together on the shirt so it, it'll look nice, okay. So I already flattened it. This one to be flattened, but I already flattened that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make it. My heat press is warming up, so I just gotta basically print this out. It's all on one sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and mirror it because we're using heat, so you always have to mirror your images when you use heat. Okay, so I just mirrored it, and I'm about to go ahead and get my printer and plug it up. If you like the content to this video, please subscribe to my channel. And also join my Facebook group. I have a group called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. We do a lot of things on that group. So go ahead and find us on Facebook. Okay, and so I'm gonna push continue. And I'm gonna go send the printer. I don't wanna do bleed on here. And I'm gonna push print. Like I said, I did, and I do a lot of videos on YouTube. I do a lot. I've done so many different videos. So please go check my videos out. I've sublimated. I've a layer of vinyl. I've converted printers to sublimation printer. I've blunt, um, blinged out cups. So I, I do it all. So just check me out. And if you don't want to make anything you just here just to check it out, you can buy the products on my website, which is charminggalboutique.com. So let's print out and I'm going to go over there and get ready, get my heat press all set up and I'll See you in a second. Okay, here are my two my images mirrored. And now I'm about to cut them out. Make sure you cut around um out the black line. You don't want the black line on your shirt or on your um luggage tag. So just cut around that because Cricut does that just because it's a print cut basically. And um they do that. They put the black line around it. So just go ahead and cut that out, and I'll be right back. My heat press is ready. It's on 400. And basically, you sublimate everything <laughs> that I know of. You sublimate for 400 to 60 seconds. I have my trans, my um tape, sublimation on um, heat transfer tape. And I'm just going to go ahead and just put the tape this on. Make sure the image is all on the. Make sure it's straight and it's on the luggage tag. I could have made it a little bit bigger, but I was trying to be safe. Could have made it a little bigger. But it'd still be cool. Let's see, I'm just making sure it's straight. I never sublimated on two sides before, so it should work. But we're gonna see. I'm always doing new things with you, with y'all, with, with um, before I test it out. But we will see.
put some butcher taper on your on the bottom of your um heat press. Put some on the top of the heat press. I'm gonna make sure it's in the middle so we can get all the little heat so it needs to get 400 degrees. Let's see. Ladies, this is my first time sublimating a tag. You have to take off the plastic coating first. It's really, really thin. I thought it was supposed to stay on there. So please, before you heat press it, take off the plastic coating. Okay. Beeping, telling me it's ready. And let's see how my first luggage tab came out. Pretty hot. Very, very hot. Get my little um tool here and scrape this tape off okay here's the finished product it came out it's just tape the paper was really stuck on there pretty tight so you have to let it cool and then pull it out there's my luggage tug my, my luggage tag i'm going ahead and do the shirt next first thing i gotta do is go ahead and Press my shirt to get all the wrinkles and the, mo the moisture out of the shirt. Go ahead and press it for like 15 seconds. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the image on the shirt. Right here. Make sure everything is straight. Took me a little while to do this. I want to make sure it's straight. I'm using a jersey shirt from JiffyShirts.com. My first time using this, so they don't mess me up. The center, the shirt should be number nine right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Place this right here on my shirt. It's always about three inches down from three fingers to three fingers down from the collar line. So I think it's gonna be. Let's just see how both of the images do it on on the shirt. Make sure your image is. I'm gonna cut it a little bit. Make sure it's close to the where I want it to be. Okay, so let me put some tape on there so I can keep my image straight so it won't move. And we'll be able to press this baby. Press it for 400, attempt 400 to, for 60 seconds, okay? All right, and this is ready to get pressed. I'll put this paper on top. Heat press is really, really got a lot of a thick aroma going through it. It's really hot in here, so I let my window open so you hear it outside, outdoors. Okay, make sure you have a window open. You need some ventilation. You need some ventilation when you're doing some um, sublimation. <laughs> you need some inhalation when you're doing sublimation. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. That's beautiful. My favorite color, purple. And let me show you. Look at that. Love it. I'm gonna use wear this shirt. My little. I'm going to airport. 
And there's my luggage tag. Styling and profiling. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Check out my boutique, www.charminggalboutique.com, and my Facebook group, Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. Thanks for watching.